Hello, this is Delusional Lobo here. I hope you guys are doing swell today. Just like for the other previous videos, I will be showcasing some of the knowledge checks that you will need to learn how to punish against Nina. Now, similar to the law video, I'm only going to be showcasing the specific things that Ninas will love to use against you to try to knowledge check you and pressure you without any regards to what you know about the character. So let's begin. So starting off, we have Nina strings that go into her particular stance that you can use to cancel out all these strings to bombard you with some frame traps if you don't know exactly how to beat these strings. Because these strings are not really frame traps, but she can use it against you if you don't know the knowledge check of them. So for starter, she has her 1-2, then she has her down forward 1-2, she also has her down forward 3-2, her forward 4, down for 1, and that's essentially it. If she decides to go to any of these strings, she can shift into a sidestep by pressing down or up. And if she does this, this is where she bombards you with strings to, in order to stop you from trying to press against her. As you can see, if she does this, she can essentially just frame trap you. But not at the beginning though, and this is where you need to understand this particular type of knowledge check. If she decides to go into any of the strings and decides to shift into her sidestep into the one, which is this, you can stop her with anything. Basically anything that you can think of to beat her as long as it's 10 frames to around 14 frames on startup, you can beat her. For example, if she decides to go for one of her strings into the shift into sidestep into one, she can get jabbed out. But this is where she can then kind of knowledge check you if you don't know how to properly beat this. Of course, you can beat it with standing jabs, regardless of which one she wants to use. But if she decides to go for, let's say, something on the lines of this, then she can beat your standing jabs. But you can attempt to use a mid move against her if she decides to go for a shift into sidestep. Or if you know for a fact that she will immediately go into a shift into a sidestep into an attack, you can punish her with one of your counter hitting mid moves that launch punishes. This can immediately stop the Nina from attempting to constantly try to go into a shift sidestep and stop her mid place. She'll then have to think of a different plan to catch you off guard. So remember, it doesn't matter which string she goes for, if she goes for any of these strings, you can beat her if she decides to go for a shift into a sidestep. But that's only on block, that is. On hit, it could be something different. As you can see, the Kazuya attempted to go for down forward 2 to counter hit launch me into that down forward 2. But I managed to beat him. The reason why, I am plus 8 if I hit him with the 1 2, and if I go into my sidestep. I'm plus 11. So I have enough time to then just go into the sidestep and decide to bombard the Kazuya into stuff like this if I want to. That's why it's imperative to know that if she decides to go for her 1 2s or down for 1 2s or whatever the hell of string that she wants to use against you to go into the shift, into the sidestep, into an attack, that you block it. You block that first and then immediately jab or use one of your mid moves against the Nina. And I won't lie either, this is quite difficult because she's quite quick when she's doing this. So even though that she's doing any of these strings against you, you may think to yourself, oh, it's my turn still. Because now that she already shifted, if I got hit, I think I can counter her, but you can't. You can only do so if you manage to block any of these strings. As an example, let's say if she were to go for her forward 4. A lot of people think that she goes for forward 4 and that she'll go for the follow up 2. Which if you were correct and you didn't duck it, you'll get punished. But if she goes into the shift, into the sidestep, then she can simply still beat you with this move. The reason why it works is that Nina, when doing her forward four into the shift, into sidestep, is that she will become plus two instead of becoming minus five. So she can still hit you. But that's because Kaz is doing the down forward two with his 14 frames on startup. 
if it's a 1 plus 2, which is 12 frames on startup, she can get caught by that move. Now, if you're not certain that what move she will go for next, to try to properly punish her, and let's say that you just don't know what move you want to use with your character, right? And she goes for any of her strings, and you manage to block it, and she's gonna go for a shift into a sidestep attack. You can universally beat all of her options by simply stick jabbing. So no matter what she does, she'll get caught by a tick jab, as long as you manage to block any of her strings that go into the shift sidestep. Now even with all that being mentioned, there is one caveat though that when she is doing any of these strings, or should I say several strings that she has in her kit that allows access to her front sway, or I call it a front sway, but it's actually called her ducking step. She can only do ducking step from her down forward 3-2. She does ducking step by pressing forward or holding forward. If she does this, she can actually decide to go into any of your attacks to follow up and try to catch you off guard. For example, if you try to stop her with a jab and she decides to go for this against you, You're you'll get caught off guard. The reason why is that her ducking step into forward 2 is a high crush. So when she does the ducking step, she can essentially catch you off guard if you decide to go for any of your standing jabs against the Nina. So it's best to try to beat her with, in my opinion, simply just dig jabbing her. And any of her other options can be easily beaten by a dig jab. The only option that you can't be against Nina if she decides to go for her ducking step is her power crush. You're Meaning that if she sees that you're already stopping any of her attempts to go into ducking step into one of her attacks, she can just opt to go into her power crush to beat all of those options. One way to beat the power crush or even her other options while she's going into ducking step is this way. A simple grab will beat the power crush, can also be her forward 1, her forward 4, and her forward 3 plus 4. It can even beat her while standing 3, it can beat her while standing 2. And she can also perform her power crush from a wolf standing into 1 plus 2. But the moves that you can't beat when doing a regular grab or a command grab against Cena is this. Which is the same issue that plagued you from the beginning with the standing 1 jab. She can just go under it from her forward 2 or from stucking step. And she can opt to go into a slide kick to beat that as well. And if she's quick enough to go into a wolf standing attack into the 4, she can then beat the grab as well. That is why I recommend to go for a dick jab instead, even if it means that you might get caught by a power crush. If you're fast enough when implementing the dick jab, maybe you might be able to get up immediately into a block. So that's why it's kind of depending on you if you want to go for a big punish or if you want to simply just dick jab her away from attempting to go into the ducking step. Now I need to remind you guys of another type of move or stance mix-up she can go into for one of her strings. In this case, it will be back sway. If she decides to go into the same string that I just mentioned before, the down forward 3-2, she can go into back sway. Now, this can still work if the opponent, which is you, the person trying to beat the Nina, you can still beat her options if she decides to go into, let's say, any of her back sway moves into the dick jab. So meaning you can still universally beat this with a dick jab. For her back sway 4, which is her biggest launch, you can beat it with a dick jab. If she goes into her back sway 3, it just puts her into a standing motion that does the regular neutral 3 that she can already do in the game. And you will just end up whiffing your dick jab. 
You can also go into a 1-2 option from Backsway as well, which is simply just the generic 1-2 standing move which you can use, which again you'll still end up whiffing your dig jab. And her 2 as well. But if she goes into her 1 plus 2 from Backsway, you can still stop it with a dig jab. And if she goes for her 3 plus 4, same thing, you can beat it with a dig jab. One other funny thing that you can do against Nina is that even though the dig jab can kind of universally beat all of her options from going into Backsway, you can also somewhat beat several of her options by simply grabbing her from Backsway. So a simple generic grab can beat her 4 Backsway move. It can be her Backsway 3, but depending on how quickly she does it, she can still hit you out of it. As you can see. If it's a 1 plus 2, it can still be beaten by a simple grab. And even 3 plus 4 can be beaten by a simple grab. Now, she can also decide to go into a different type of move that can go into backsway. The only other move besides her down forward 3 2 that goes into backsway is her sidestep 1. And as you can see, it still beats those options. But it doesn't beat the 3 plus 4 in this case. The reason why is that you're plus 4 into plus 10 if you go into backsway. So grabs won't universally beat this kind of option if she decides to go into the sidestep 1 into backsway. But it beats her jabs if you go for the dig jab. As you can see, it beats all of her options from backsway. One thing that you have to be reminded of, that when you're fighting against Nina's, is that even though you can option select by simply dick jabbing her even from her sidestep 1 or from her down forward 3 into 2, the majority of her strings can be beaten by simply doing this, but if she wants to, she does have an option to use against you if you decide to go for the dick jab. Now, the way that it's done is this way. So what I just did there was that I attempted to go for the sidestep 1, and I went into the backsway into an instant wolf standing 3. Most Ninas won't be able to pull this off from ranks below, let's say, common ranks, all the way to, let's say, like the early blue ranks, maybe even to the late blue ranks. You will probably won't see Ninas doing this. So this is a very advanced technique that requires timing and execution to do this cancel. Now it's not like something beyond crazy, but you won't have to worry as much from Ninas that will try to do this to stop your dick jabbing. So again, this is a very advanced technique, and she can also do it from the down forward 3 into 2, but I don't have the knowledge or execution to say to really perform this timing, but I can do it from the sidestep 1. So they do have the option to go for the instant one standing 3 to beat your dick jab, but there's a big chance that it won't work, simply because of the fact that if you go into down forward 3 2, into backsway, you're plus 8. But if you do it from the sidestep 1, you're plus 10. And the wolf standing 3 is 13 frames. So there might be a chance that she can still catch you off guard with the move specifically, but depending on the backsway motion and how fast you cancel it, maybe you will still manage to punch her out of the wolf standing 3 from a downboard 3 2, but maybe not. That's why I'm just letting you know that for those that are trying to get into this guide, this is mostly a guide for those that want to know how to beat Nina's uh, knowledge checks, but usually for around the players that are around the common ranks getting to around red ranks or even to the ruler ranks. You will see Nina's doing stuff like the things I just mentioned. So alright then, that's a about all of the things having to do with their cancels from her either her ducking step, back sway, or her side steps from attacks from strings. Now is the thing that you may have to worry about when it comes to several other strings that she can do to kind of mix you up. So now I have the Kazuya using the standing one. If she wants to, and she doesn't want to go into the string, into let's say the sidestep 1, she can just go for the follow up move from her 1-2s, in this case 1-2 into 4. This gives her a counter hit into a launcher. She can do the same thing from a down forward 3-2 into 4. So if she does this against you, you need to be looking out for when she decides to go for either the follow-up 4 from one of these two strings. So if she's not going to a sidestep, you might as well just decide again to beat this option by simply dick jabbing her. 
but you gotta be quick because even the dummy can't really do it quickly enough to then stop you from doing it. But if I do it slowly, you can see that it still does beat the option from Nina. And again, can't really distinguish between how fast it should be done because again, the dummy is going to go immediately to attempt to go for the dick jab. So it might get caught trying to duck down into an immediate dick jab. But again, you can still beat this by simply just ducking into a dick jab. So again, just to clarify, it's from 1, 2, 4. And down forward 3 into 2 into 4. These two strings you got to be careful of. So that is all. I know that the videos might seem short or maybe even too long depending on who is watching the video, but again, the series is all about showcasing some of the beginner stuff that players get caught off guard from against these characters that use these knowledge checks against you if you don't know how to beat them. Yeah, I can go more deeply between the characters and show you everything, but then it won't longer be a beginner's guide, would it? It will be something along the lines of an advanced guy showing everything that the character has to offer. So instead, I'm just showcasing the stuff that you need to know for somebody that's trying to get into the matchup and trying to face against these characters. So I hope that you guys learned something from the video. If you guys liked the video, give it a like or dislike if you want to. Subscribe to see more of my shit. And yeah, stay tuned. Stay safe.